Hey there everyone, welcome back. This is some crazy YouTube news in the YouTube world. It states why this YouTuber is taking Pokemon to court. If you aren't aware, the quartering with over a million subscribers is fighting with Pokemon, who is another YouTuber, Twitch streamer, which has over 6 million subscribers. And, uh, you know, it's going to be my own personal opinion about this, but it's so much easier as a girl to get a following and to get, you know, people to watch your videos if you're a girl rather than a guy. Uh, as you can see here, compared to the quartering, um, but this is what the article has to state. Pokimane has had a dramatic start to 2022, to say the least. She nearly quit Twitch following a hate raid scuffle with YouTuber Gideon last month. Um, I don't think she would ever quit Twitch. Um, she literally makes millions of dollars a year just sitting on her butt playing video games and watching shows. There's literally She's the one that got in trouble for literally streaming Avatar and eating food and stuff like that, which is just completely mind-blowing. But anyways, going on, it states that now that a copyright strike email has riled up the YouTuber, the quartering, she might have to spend some time lawfully defending herself. Uh, the quartering revealed that he would be taking Pokemon to court after a legal team representing the streamer contacted him via email and demanded the immediate takedown of two videos only two videos um considering the quartering has like more than two videos on her i'm surprised it's only two videos but it goes on to state that to pokimane and her legal team the videos in question violate the fair use of copyrighted content i highly that's probably highly unlikely but anyways in a tweet later she shared by at the quartering an attached image of the email shows that pokimane is serious about guarding any photo video or even text context that she's created and uploaded seriously so if she posts her photo a tweet or any Anything, and she's gonna go after you so even just me sharing her photo or talking about her she's gonna now go after me like it no, no this is supposed to be fair use freedom of press freedom of speech freedom of your opinion but I guess you know it's 2022 it's a new age people are gonna be pulling out all these different stunts and cards to you know get publicity and cause takedowns and whatever else and to hurt other creators it states that it's no surprise the quartering is on Pokemon's radar. The YouTuber has been called out for toxic content on more than one occasion and has also taken jabs at Pokemon in the past. Uh, I've watched a lot of the quartering. He doesn't really have toxic content. Um, I'm not sure where they're getting off on that. And also taking jabs at Pokemon. Um, so he's not entitled to his opinion or critical criticism. Like I just, you know, like I can't have an opinion about this either like that makes no sense anymore like i guess you're gonna go after anyone who uh speaks about you or shares your image or tweet or anything like that that's just absolutely ridiculous guarding any photo video or even text context that she's created and uploaded that it's a public domain it's the internet you can do whatever you want like this is just absolutely this is just bonkers but anyways it continues to state however the quartering has argued that he hasn't done anything wrong and he's willing to spend the time and resources to prove that point which is good in a new video uploaded to youtube the quartering declared that he won't be taking down either video and explains why he feels pokemon is in the wrong i agree um on with the uh, with the the quartering jeremy here um he shouldn't be backing down he should fight this and fight her because all his videos are fair use i've watched a lot of his content and uh yeah i actually had the quartering uh which is kind of funny block me on twitter because i caused controversy with him and i guess he just saw that a bunch of his followers responding or whatnot so instead of giving me some views or so, you know like a, a promotion i guess so, so to speak he ended up blocking me which was sad because i actually respect him and look up to him as another content creator as a small content creator to a bigger content creator but it is what it is yeah, but it states that uh, the quartering certainly isn't a stranger controversy, but this time the YouTuber feels he's reacting to being bullied. I agree 100%. Uh, sh sh her and her legal team are bullying him to take down videos. I'm surprised it's only two and not like all of them. And why it's only him and not all content creators is pretty sure this is just the start. Um, it states he believes that the takedown request results from Pokemon's desire to control her image. It's worth noting that Pokemon herself is not pursuing the takedown request, but has instead employed the agency Core Search to protect and optimize brand presence. 
Well, that's kind of ridiculous. So she can't even go after him herself. Um, she ends up hiring this core search company and to protect and optimize brand presence. Well, if anything, then why is she the one that's causing more controversy for other YouTubers? Wouldn't she just ignore it? Um, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But anyways, however, this also wouldn't be the first time that Pokemon's camp filed a copyright strike against another YouTuber, which had made some ser her some famous enemies. Okay, so she didn't want this to happen because then, you know, people get a following, I guess, and made other people famous off her behalf. Um, but it goes on to state that the quartering argued that Core Search intentionally sent communication from outside of YouTube, indicating that either the agency didn't have an airtight case or was afraid of pushback, which makes sense. I agree with them because if they had a open and closed shut case, they would have filed it through YouTube and got the videos taken down. They probably did contact YouTube and YouTube said there's nothing wrong with it, it's fair use. So now they're trying to pursue uh, doing this another way. I had this happen multiple times on my channel, other YouTube channels trying to bully me, like I've had Viral Hog strike one of my videos and uh, I wasn't willing to go to court over that so I had to like drop the strike. But I also had other cases where YouTube big corporations, big news media corporations when I was doing videos on COVID, uh, try to shut down my channel, do strikes and stuff like that. And I fought those and actually won uh, a, a lot of those. So um, yeah, I'm glad that he's not going to back down because that's what they try to do is intimidate you and you get scared. So you just take it down or remove it or agree or obey by what they're stating. But we do have a thing called fair use. You're entitled to your opinion, criticism, and as long as you're not like you know doing anything wrong it's perfectly fine but it states that by circumventing youtube and opting for direct communication the quartering believes core search wanted to scare him into compliance something he admits would likely have happened if you were a smaller content creator the quartering said that is, that's true i agree with them there because i've had it happen to me a few times and i was scared i had one of the biggest news corporations go after me with over like 52 different companies that they own and I actually ended up battling it and I won which is actually pretty impressive because I'm only like you know got 20,000 followers and I only get a you know a few views on my videos but this was during the the, the Rona's time when I was uh you know posting a lot of videos on Rona so yeah anyways it goes on to say I feel very blessed that I have a large audience so I can feel confident saying like okay well let's go to court you know that's not something a lot of creators have, so they just delete the video because they're afraid. Oh, damn, that's exactly what I was just saying. Uh, the YouTuber concluded by saying, first of all, my videos were absolutely fair use, which 90%, if not all of my videos are. Uh, I will go to court. I will spend exorbitant amounts of money in court defending my videos, and I will enjoy the discovery phase greatly. Pokemon has yet to add her own comments to the transparent events, so she's trying to stay silent because she doesn't want to ruin her image or brand. Only the quartering uh, Jeremy has came out about this. He even has a video on his YouTube channel about it. But Pokemon has been completely silent, and it makes me wonder if she's going to go after other content creators for making videos. And this isn't the first time she's done this. Uh, another YouTuber, Leafy, is here, which had millions of followers, subscribers, ended up getting his channel permanently terminated because he made multiple videos on her, and then they deemed it like harassment or whatever, bullying, even though he's entitled to his own opinion as well. So it just goes to show you that these big YouTubers are now trying to control absolutely everything on the internet. Um, they're trying to pull every card that they can to try to get other creators shut down. Keep in mind, Pokimane is actually really like huge on YouTube. She's got over 6 million subs. Uh, the Quartering's got 1.18 million subscribers, so nothing really compared to Pokemon, but in the retrospect of YouTube, he's still a really big YouTuber. Um, so yeah, once, in, once you know, if you're not in the millions of subscribers, you're considered really small and a nobody. So this is going to be quite interesting to see who's going to win this. And I'm going to be placing my money on the quartering Jeremy, a hundred percent. He's, he's, he knows what he's talking about. He's dealt with this multiple times. He's gone after tons of actual famous people and 
celebrities. And uh, yeah, I support him, and I'm pretty sure he's not gonna, you know, lose the case at all. And if anything, he's he's 100% right. They're just trying to scare him, and uh, he's not one to scare easily. But it, I just just have to add that it, I just find it funny that he blocked me on Twitter when I had a Twitter account before I got permanently. Uh, my channel or my Twitter account taken down just over by calling someone dumb, which was kind of funny. But anyways, that's what I came across. I wanted to share with all of you because this could eventually impact all content creators and everybody on the net. If you can do me a huge favor, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this in the comments below. Do you side with the quartering? Do you side with Pokimane on this? Or do you think she's in the right? Do you think she's in the wrong? I believe personally, in my own personal opinion, that she's in the wrong. Um, she's just upset. They're upset with what he has to say. And he's usually 100% honest and he nails, like, you know, he he's completely accurate half the time on all the stuff like he states and even his own personal opinion he's pretty accurate with how things are going so anyways uh, i just wanted to share that please like this video comment down below with your thoughts and opinions and last but not least click that subscribe button down below it's free it takes two seconds it helps me out a lot and i really do appreciate it and i'd love to do this full time but unfortunately the way that things are going with youtube and their censorship as well as everything else going on i can only put out so much and gotta look elsewhere for money so anyone who does support me i do really appreciate it you all know who you are so thank you for the love and support and i'll catch you later thanks for watching everyone stay safe god bless you all take care and peace out